Tinubu Bola Ahmed of the APC, having satisfied the requirements of the law, is hereby declared the winner and is returned elected. Jubilant supporters of the governing party celebrate victory in hard fought and tense election. Their candidate, 70 year old Bola Ahmed Tinubu, now has the task of trying to calm a divided country. I take this opportunity also again to appeal to my fellow contestants to let us team up together. It is the only nation we have. The unfortunate... His declaration was boycotted by the main opposition political party representatives who accused the Electoral Commission of colluding to rig the vote. The opposition has strongly criticized the Electoral Commission for failing to electronically upload election results right from polling units. This, they say, was a deliberate attempt to rig the vote. Election officials, however, have told them to take their case to court. Something the opposition isn't entirely happy with. Judiciary is said to be the last hope of the common man. It is so in all other matters, but in political matters, sorry to say, the judiciary is not the last hope of the common man. I hope and pray that um, the judiciary will live up to their responsibility of being the last hope of the common man. This election has deeply divided Nigerians. We have no other country than Nigeria. All we need to do is to carry every... Those of you that are, are grieved, don't just fight. Don't protest. If you have anything to protest, go to court. This man cannot be our, our, our leader. It's not our mandate. Bola Tinibu will have to work to unite a fractured country, in addition to dealing with its numerous economic, security and social crises. For now, the streets of the capital and many other parts of Nigeria are calm. The next few days will determine whether they stay that way. Ahmed Idris, Al Jazeera, Abuja. Well, let's get more on this. We're joined by Bolanle Olukani. She is a Nigerian TV host and documentary filmmaker, and she's joining us live from Lagos. Very good to have you with us on Al Jazeera. Um, you have been saying that this election wasn't free or fair. Tell us what you're basing that on. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when we're talking about what a free and fair election is, a free and fair election pretty much means that people have the right and access to vote. They're able to vote. On Saturday, what we saw was a lot of people were disenfranchised from the vote. Um, INEC, the body that was conducting the elections, they were disorganized. They mm -hmm. were not up to par with the logistics of actually conducting the elections. So this meant that for some polling units, INEC didn't arrive there until afternoon. A lot of people came out to vote. So imagine in some polling units you have over a thousand people, and INEC was not able to allow all those people to vote. So that's an ex just one example when you say it was not a free and fair election because okay. people were disenfranchised. So the National uh, Electoral Commission, um, or INEC as you're, you're calling it, they have been monitored by international observers from the Commonwealth. And the Commonwealth have listed some deficiencies, including what you're saying of, um, of election officials, of materials showing up late, among many other um, issues. But they are saying, the international observers, that these do not um, amount to an election being not free, not fair, and that the whole process has not been marred at all. What do you say to that? I say, first of all, we're not going to judge and base whether or not an election is free or fair because the international observers said so. The international observers, they have their own reason for saying that because they don't want to undermine the Nigerian election. We, the Nigerian people, with all the evidence that was out there, the violence, the disenfranchisement, the fact that INEC did not show up on time, the fact that INEC still up to now has not uploaded the results, at least 50 percent of the results onto the portal, the fact that we saw places where people actually changed the results, canceled it out, and these results are not tallying with the results that people collected and took pictures of, because a lot of Nigerians took pictures of the final results. So the international community, they're more than welcome to choose to make the decision that they have by saying it was free and fair, but we, the Nigerian citizens, a lot of us do not agree that it was free and fair. And there's evidence to prove that. 
the violence, the fact that people were chased away from their polling units. We have videos of people, thugs, coming to steal ballots with police escorts, uh -huh. and nothing has been done. Nobody has been arrested. How can we call that a free and fair election? It's not possible. There have also been a lot of videos circulating on social media in Nigeria that fact-checkers, including at the BBC's disinformation team, have said are uh, not from this election at all, are from years ago. Um, do you think that there is, or do you acknowledge or believe the BBC and others fact-checking reports that there is a lot of misinformation on social media surrounding, surrounding this election? I am a huge, I absolutely hate fake news. I work in the media and I know how dangerous fake news is. A lot of the things that I saw, I made sure I fact check them. Not only that, I know and have people who were at polling units and they actually showed videos where they came and they scattered the ballot boxes. It was when the military came that they were able to go ahead and vote. But there were other polling units, like for example, in Imo State, where the you know, INEC never showed up. INEC didn't show up, but yet they uploaded results. How does INEC explain that to us? So did those people, were they ever able to vote? That's what we're saying when we're saying this. There was no communication for INEC. All these questions we had, INEC sent one press release. That one press release said, we understand that there were issues, but you know, we're going to have to go ahead and continue to collate the results. And after that, anybody that has any issues, mm -hmm. you know, they can take it up with the court. A lot of people were disenfranchised from voting. The numbers are not tallying. And we're asking for INEC to respond to the issues that, we're, that we've raised. Well, the international community... Yes. The um, international community, as much as we appreciate their support, we're not going to use what they say to verify whether or not our election was free and fair. Bolanle Alukani, we thank you for your time joining us live from Lagos there. Thank you.